Welcome to class! Eating animals is wrong Hurting animals is wrong Share this song And change your entire life to be vegan from now on That's right. Change your life. Change your life to be vegan from now on. Hey, thank you for coming to class. We're going to be evaluating a speech by Gary Francione today. He is a professor. Ah, and he, apparently he's vegan, so let's have a look at this. All right, take out your markers and fill in your sheet. Gary Francione, divide it with check marks uh, for when he does something good, an X when he does something wrong. Let's listen to Gary's speech. And don't forget to send me a picture of your results. Send it to me. That vegan teacher, Miss Katie. Let's listen. Oh, I got this way over here. Let's start over here. Here we go. Hi, everyone. I'm Gary Francione. Hi. One of the central tenets of the abolitionist approach is that veganism is a moral imperative. Oh, veganism is a moral imperative. Yep. Put a check mark for that. Definitely. Now... What I mean by that is, if animals matter morally, if they're not things, we have a moral obligation not to eat them, wear them, or use them. Yeah, and animals are not things. Another check mark for you. Animals are sentient beings. They're not objects. It's not a matter of whether we exploit them in a supposedly humane way. That's not the point. The point is, if they matter morally, we have an obligation to stop exploiting them, however supposedly humanely we claim to be doing it. Yes, I agree. We have an obligation not to exploit them. Another check mark. Three already so far. Oh, if I, I don't think I showed you the, your sheet. This is what my sheet looks like. You can write on a post-it note. You can write like, in a book like this. Just put check marks when the uh, present, presenter here says something good and X's if they say something bad. So far, looks pretty good to me. Okay. Once you decide slavery is wrong, once you decide that slavery violates the fundamental rights of humans, the issue is not making slavery more humane, the issue is abolishing slavery. Similar exactly. Absolutely. You can't make slavery more humane. You just have to abolish it completely. And this is what I was saying on TikTok for over a year. Yes. Good job. Check mark where non-humans are concerned, once you conclude that treating animals as things, using them as commodities, is morally wrong, you stop. It's not a matter of doing it humanely. You can't do a, the wrong thing the right way. If the exploitation is wrong, then we ought not to be talking about trying to exploit in a compassionate or a humane way, because that misses the point. Exactly. You can't just say, well, I want to have some slaves and, uh, you know, but it's okay because I'm going to treat them nicely. I'm going to, you know, feed them and give them a nice cozy bed. No, slavery is wrong. Um, racism is wrong. Homophobia is wrong. And so is speciesism, treating animals badly, treating them like slaves, incarcerating them, keeping them behind bars, forcefully impregnating them, stealing their babies. This is what we do in the dairy industry. People steal baby cows from their mothers and murder them and turn them into veal sandwiches if they're boys. And if they're girls, they're put back into the cycle of violence. In the egg industry, they take eggs and if the, if the newborn baby chicks are boys, they put them in a giant blender. They murder them because they'll never be able to lay eggs. Or they put them in these huge bags, these huge plastic bags, and they just tie a knot and they suffocate or die from the weight of their brothers and sisters above them. Horrific. It's not okay the way we treat animals. If we're looking at pigs in the industry, baby boy pigs are castrated. They have their testicles ripped out without any anesthetic. Boys, picture that. It's not okay. We should not be doing that to men. We should not be doing that to boys. We should not be doing that to baby pigs. It is wrong to exploit mother pigs in the, egg in, in, the, uh, in the industry where we have pigs in these tight, confined spaces that mother pigs can't even turn around. They can't even see their own brand new babies. So this is just three animals I'm mentioning to you. Animals are not objects. 
They are sentient beings. They have a right to live. And what Gary is saying here is that there is no right way to do the wrong thing. We can't just say, well, we're going to make their living conditions better as we exploit them. No, we should stop exploiting them altogether. Leave animals off your plate. Now, there are animal advocates who get upset when I express these views. There are animal advocates who get, express, who get upset with me when I express any view. But one of the views that they get upset about is when I say that veganism is a moral imperative, and they say, well, you know, that's, that's wrong. Veganism is a matter of, of being on a journey. Now, I disagree. I disagree. I agree. I agree with you, Gary. Veganism cannot be a journey. Veganism is the end. It is not something that we take forever to get to. When we realize that it's not okay to hurt animals, to exploit them, to eat them, wear them, use them, we just stop. It's as simple as that. Now, of course, I understand that if you have a fridge full of food and you just heard the message, it might take you a very short while to you know, take this stuff out of your fridge or if you have a, a car with leather seats, we're not asking you to throw out your car right away. But you, from the moment that you declare that you are vegan, you stop buying any other products. That's where you start. You just say, I'm not buying anything else that comes from an animal. No more eggs. No more cheese, no more milk, no more meat, no more salami, no more chickens, no more pork, no steak, nothing. All you do is when you go to the store, you walk down the aisle with your shopping cart and you do this. Veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Put those in your shopping cart because peace begins on your plate, so you'll need to open up your heart. Push you! Okay? Okay. I think that's morally problematic. Indeed, I think it's transparently speciesist. Think about... Speciesist. He's right. Thank you for using that word. Speciesism is the purest form of racism. We must not be speciesist. We must be kind to animals. Every little insect and animal has a purpose here on earth. And our job, our full-time job, is to protect them, to try to stay out of their way, to try to let them live their lives and not impose ourselves on them. Not use them as objects. Don't breed them into existence. Don't put them in circuses. Don't put them in places like SeaWorld. Animals should be out free. Whales belong in the ocean, not in swimming pools. Dolphins belong in the ocean, not in swimming pools. Fish don't belong in fish tanks. They don't belong in your backyard in a little pond. Fish belong in the lakes and in the streams they belong out there. They're not our prisoners. Situation involving the violation of fundamental human rights. If I were to say, well, I recognize doing X is morally wrong because it violates the fundamental rights of this person or these group, this group of people, but I'm, I'm going to continue doing it because I'm on a journey. You would quite rightly say you're not you know, you say you, you, you regard this as a fundamental rights violation, but you're not acting as though you do because you're not respecting the rights that you claim to recognize. And we would do that where any violation of fundamental human rights were involved. I don't care what it is. You know, fill in the blank, you know, and just think of any fundamental human rights violation that we're talking about. None of us ever talks about there, uh, there being a journey, that we should have a journey so that we stop engaging in a fundamental human rights violation. We say that if something violates a, human, uh, a fundamental human right, we have to stop it. All right? Yeah. Now, where animals are concerned, all of a sudden, the journey becomes just fine. It's just fine to talk about continuing to exploit animals that we've recognized or we claim to recognize they have moral value. We claim to recognize that they have moral value, but we're going to continue to exploit them. Why? Because we find it difficult because we're on a journey. It's not about us, people. It's about them. It's not about our inconvenience. It's about their moral right. And so I would suggest that the next time you're talking to somebody who says, yeah, you know, I, I agree, it's wrong to exploit animals. I think what we do with animals is wrong, and I, I think that, you know, we ought to stop using animals. And, but I'm on a journey. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, I'm on, I'm on a journey to get there. 
ask that person whether or not she or he would ever accept that sort of reasoning where humans are involved. And you know what? They're not going to be able to give you a very good answer other than no, they wouldn't, because nobody does accept it. And so you can point out to them that the essence of speciesism is treating similar interests in a dissimilar way for, you know, I mean, treat, treating the interests of non-humans in ways in which we would not treat the interests of humans because non-humans are of a different species. That's what speciesism is. So this idea of we're on this journey is itself a speciesist problematic idea. If you take animals seriously, you take, you believe animals have more value, you stop consuming them, you stop treating them as things because it is only our belief that animals are things that have no moral value that allows us to exploit them in the ways that we do. So once we reject that, we go vegan. It's that simple. And you know what? Going vegan is easy. Wow. This is great so far. Wow, we're almost done. It's such a short speech, but wow, is it good. Do you guys like it? I mean, I, I don't have anything bad to say so far. Vegan, being vegan is easy. Going vegan is easy, absolutely. Tons of recipes everywhere. You know, just Google healthy vegan recipes. You get so many of them here on YouTube. No problem. The only hard part about being vegan is seeing the world around you not vegan. That's the part that I always find hard. It's hard for me now to look around and see so much animal abuse that continues. And that's why I'm here on this channel, to try to raise awareness of that and change the world. It is very sad that the animal movement invests so much energy in trying to convince people that going vegan is difficult. It's not. Not at all. We have a great website, HowDoIGoVegan.com. Yes, that's a great website, HowDoIGoVegan.com. Sing it again, HowDoIGoVegan.com. I was thinking that on TikTok. It's a great website, but I like, I love the name. You know, where do I go? Go to HowDoIGoVegan.com. Just remember it. Let's sing it again. Go to HowDoIGoVegan.com. Sing it again, HowDoIGoVegan.com. Right? Memorize it. Sing it. Sing it in the shower. Get it through your head and then just go there. They have all the information that you need. They talk about all the animals. They talk about recipes. They talk about ethics, especially ethics. And they help you on as you're becoming vegan to learn what responses to give to other people. And if you're curious about what it means to be vegan, go there and just read. Do it. Do it. Visit it. It's got all sorts of information about going vegan. And you can even get questions answered there. So if animals matter, you go vegan. You're either vegan or you're participating directly in animal exploitation. There is no third choice. Thank you very much for considering my views. Wow, Gary Francione. Thank you so much for that excellent speech. Go to HowDoIGoVegan.com. I don't know about you guys, but this is what I got. I did not get a single bad in this speech. What I loved about it, it was short. November 29th, 2016. At least that's when it was posted here. I don't know when he actually made this little speech, but it's great. Look at that. Only five minutes and 25 seconds. Great speech. So everybody remember his site and his name. Gary L. Francione. Gary L. Francione. And go to his YouTube channel and subscribe to make sure you share this video. What a shame. Only 4,000 views. You know, that should be 4 million people that see that. So let's share this. Let's share his site. Yeah, let's go and support him. That seems good. And don't forget to subscribe here too. Here's my shiny button. This is not the actual button. This is just to remind you. But there's a button somewhere. Go and subscribe to this channel. We're going to be looking at all kinds of different vegans. We're going to be learning recipes. We're going to be learning about different exercises that you can do and, and to, to stay strong. And you're going to be, I'm going to be showing you vegan athletes. We're going to be talking about different people who are vegan and we're going to be scolding people who are not vegan. We're going to be giving them shit and we're going to say to them, why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? That's what we're going to do. And every once in a while, if I see something sad, I'm probably going to burst into tears. So if you like seeing me cry, then you know, I'll probably keep watching because today, of course, I'm not going to cry because I'm not showing the sad animals suffering. And it, it is very hard for me to watch the suffering, but I have to show it on my channel because I, I need you to see what happens to the animals. When you see it, you'll be like, oh my God, I don't want to pay for that. 
I'm stopping. So remember, it takes 100 clicks to become vegan. Now, Gary says there's no journey, right? And I agree that once you've got your 100 clicks, that's it. When you get it into your head that you're going to be vegan, that's it. There's no turning back. But I realize that just seeing this video, for example, this one, maybe you have no idea who I am. You've never met me. You don't know who this guy is. And you're just like, you know, you're just like sifting through YouTube. And you're just like eating your popcorn. Like, who the hell? What, what the hell is going on here? Who are these people? So for you, it could be click number one. Like, okay, veganism exists. These two are vegan. Hmm. That was an interesting speech. But then, you know, you might not get it. You might not want to be vegan right away because you haven't seen any of the important documentaries. But then you see my shirt and then you go and watch another YouTuber who's vegan. Or maybe in the comment section, you think, oh, I'm going to follow these people. Or I'm going to read more comments. And then you get to your hundred clicks. It has to penetrate your head. You have to understand you can be vegan. It's 100% possible. There's many vegan athletes and you have to understand that it's just wrong to hurt animals. It's just wrong. Come on. You know it. Yeah, you know it. There's no reason for it. You can be 100% healthy. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has confirmed it. You can be healthy as a vegan. Newborn babies, kids, teenagers, parents, grandparents, pregnant mothers, lactating women, I mean, everybody can be vegan. Just choose healthy vegan foods. That's it, super easy. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, thank you to everybody who supports me. And uh, yeah, don't forget, here's my cup. Can you read that? Cow's milk is for baby cows. Yeah, so just buy oat milk instead, or soy milk, or any other milk that's not cow milk, or goat milk, don't buy those things. Cow's milk is for baby cows. Thank you so much for watching, and yay! Yay to Gary, he's gonna get a big smile. It's a big smile. And if Gary Francione happens to be watching this or anybody knows him, please tell him to contact me. I'd love to talk to him. I'd like to interview him. Seems like he has a lot to say on the subject. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Popping up on the screen, you're going to see a bunch of other videos that I posted in the past. If you haven't seen them yet, grab one and just click on it see what else I'm up to. Be curious. Look around my site. There's songs of me singing in the past. There's all kinds of stuff there. Ha check it out. Thank you to moderators who are keeping an eye on my site and helping to keep away those mean people. If you need to contact me, go to That Vegan Teacher Miss Katie. But I do have a lot of messages over there and a lot of trolls, so please be patient if I don't get back to you right away. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Do, 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 do.